guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share with you all a very delicious dessert recipe which is creamy in texture and you all will definitely definitely love it it is the tapioca or the sago or the sabudana kheer so let's get going with the recipe so now here for the tapioca which is also known as the sago or the sabudana so for that kheer, here I have taken one cup of sabudana that is tapioca and now first we have to wash this sabudana in 3 to 4 waters. So let's do that first. So for that I have taken a bowl and into that I will be adding all the sabudana that is the tapioca and we will add some water. And now we have to wash this very nicely so that the extra starch gets off now here you can see the water has turned cloudy so now we'll discard this water and we'll add some fresh water and again we'll wash it so again I'll be adding some more water and again we'll wash this nicely we should continue this process till we get nice clear water till the water is nice and clear The water is still cloudy so again we will discard this water and we will add some more fresh water and wash it again. So here I have washed the sabudana very well in 3 to 4 waters and now we have to soak the sabudana but we have to put just enough water for it. So we don't have to put extra water. So now here I have added a little water to the sabudana see that the water level is just little above the sabudana so that the sabudana gets soaked very well and now we leave it for 20 to 30 minutes for soaking now in the meantime till the sabudana is getting soaked here I have taken a vessel with 1 litre of full fat milk and now we boil this milk first now here the milk is boiling so just stir the milk a little bit so that it doesn't get stuck at the bottom and also clean the sides of your vessel. So now here the milk is boiling so now let us put an eye on the sabudana so now here the sabudana has got very well soaked as you all can see so now we'll put the sabudana into the milk and let the sabudana get cooked in this milk till they are nice and translucent so now we'll just stir this milk a little bit And now we just put all the sabudana into this milk and let it get cooked now into this milk.
and just scrape the sides of your vessel. So now here the tapioca or the sabudanas are getting very well cooked along with the milk and they are getting translucent as you all can see. So let them get cooked for another 5 minutes and then we will proceed further. So now here the tapioca or the sabudana has got very well cooked as you all can see. So now into this we will be adding sugar. So here I will be adding 2 tablespoons of sugar. You can add sugar according to your taste. Just give it a mix. Also into this, I'll be adding 3 tablespoons of condensed milk. This will give this kheer a nice creamy texture. Now you all can see how creamy and thick this kheer is turned out. On cooling it will thicken up more. Now I'll be adding some chopped dried fruits. In that I'm adding some raisins, some almonds and some cashews. You can add dry fruits according to your choice. Just give it a mix. And here the tapioca or the sabudana kheer is ready. So we'll switch off the flame and I'll just dish this out. So now here the tapioca or the sabudana kheer is ready. I'll just garnish it with a little bit of finely chopped almonds. So guys, isn't this looking very very tempting? So guys, if you like this recipe, do give it a like and also do consider subscribing to my channel. Also do leave a comment and share this recipe which will help my channel to grow. Thank you all for all your love and support. If you all have subscribed, press the bell icon so that you all would receive new video alerts. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video. Till then, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.